Hey Tech Army, what's up? Welcome back to another amazing episode of Tech Timing. So guys, in this amazing episode, we are going to discuss everything you need to know about the Black Fly electric car. Are you guys excited? So let's get started. So keep up with me till the end, comment right below this video, subscribe if you still haven't, and turn on the post notifications for more videos. Recent advancements in EV and lithium ion battery technology have paved the way for flying automobiles to become a reality. Black Fly, an aviation firm, is developing a flying automobile that could be the first commercial flying car. Flying cars have always been a fantasy, and combining a road vehicle with flight appears to be the ideal solution to congested roads, saving time for everyone. Since the early 20th century, many prototypes have been created using various flight technologies, such as distributed propulsion, while some feature full vertical takeoff and landing. Because we never actually have a proven design concept, flying automobiles have always been a popular theme in fantasy and science fiction. However, the most recent participant in the competition is a Silicon Valley firm that has been working on Blackfly for nine years. The firm, Opener Inc., run by Marcus Lang, is one of many that aspire to improve transportation by allowing people to explore the skies while avoiding heavy traffic. The airline also claims to make personal transportation simple and inexpensive. So what are the characteristics of this revolutionary flying car? Let's take a closer look. Opening Inc. has made tremendous progress in its electric-powered vertical takeoff and landing aerial vehicle, which it is called a personal flying car because it can only carry one person at a time. It can lift individuals up to 6 feet 6 inches tall and weigh more than 100 kilos. This electric aircraft measures 13 feet 7 inches in width and 13 feet 5 inches in length. It weighs approximately 155 kilos. As you can see, it's a light model. Moving on, the Blackfly is propelled by eight propellers linked to two wing-like pylons that serve as the front and rear car axles. Each pylon has four propellers. When the craft takes off vertically, it switches to forward flight. With the wings producing some lift, the vertical fins on the two wing tips aid in steering, but the propellers do the majority of the work in orienting the boat. The propellers may not appear to be very powerful, yet they can move a lot of air. As the name implies, the vehicle requires minimal energy to take off and land in a 36 inch region on a variety of surfaces, including grass, asphalt, snow, and ice. According to the manufacturer, the Black Fly has been tested autonomously and with human pilots on board. With hundreds of test flights conducted, riders can cruise at 128 kilometers per hour in the flying car, even in gusts of 32 kilometers per hour in temperatures of more than 30 degrees Celsius. The current limitations of battery technology are represented by Blackfly's ability to only fly 40 kilometers at a speed of 100 kilometers. However, because it is an aircraft, it must utilize a smaller battery to decrease weight. As a result, the battery has a capacity of only 8 to 12 kilometers kilowatt hours. The Canadian company aims to make flying cars a reality, and unlike previous attempts, Opener isn't attempting to duplicate a car's capabilities. Despite its limited range and speed, the automobile is entirely electric and is capable of moving both on and as air. The flying automobile concept's most intriguing elements are the ease of use and low cost. Learning to fly this automobile will just take you a few minutes, which is a great selling point for this flying car. The cost may be comparable to that of an SUV, although the business does not disclose which brand. Customers will not need a pilot's license, but they will need to finish a familiarization course and a normal written examination for the FAA private pilot license. In addition, there is an autopilot system that may land the vehicle in an emergency or bring you home. The layout is modular with three backup control systems. The company hasn't said when it will be open for business or how much it will cost. It is still in the early phases and it will be some time before we see flying automobiles in our skies. It may take a few more years, but the first commercial flying automobiles are expected later this decade. So guys, this was all about today's video. Share as much as you can. That really motivates us to create more content for you guys. With this, we end our video. Hope you liked the video.